that Kylie mentioned just a moment ago is that a fire we covered during the overnight hours has now turned deadly. Yeah, one person has died. A firefighter was hurt. Emily Kinzer has been following this. This is on the north side. Emily, a terrible update we're getting. Yeah, absolutely. The scene is all clear here now, but much more developing behind the scenes here early this morning in this early morning house fire. We have since learned that that one woman um, who was rescued from this fire has now passed away. Neighbors tell us that um, she was in her 80 or excuse me, her 90s. And uh, let me take you back through what exactly happened this morning. It happened around 2.30, just before 2.30. Firefighters were called to the area of 38th and Capitol. This is just down the street from Crown Hill Cemetery. Just to give you a little bit of perspective, when they got on scene, they found heavy flames, flames in the front of the house. Again, a neighbor told them that they believed someone was inside. They were able to locate that woman within minutes. They pulled her out. She was taken to the hospital initially in serious condition. And then in the last 30 minutes, we've learned that she has died. Now, one of the firefighters who actually helped rescue her out of this house is now in the hospital because he is a twisted knee. We're not exactly sure the extent of that injury, but we are told. It is a twisted knee. Important to note, this is the fourth fire fatality that IFD has seen since 2018. The 40th structure fire this month alone. So certainly a sad situation here. One woman is dead. One firefighter is in the hospital dealing with a knee injury. And then they um, were also told about $80,000 worth of damage here behind us. Fire investigators are still trying to figure out exactly what happened. Of course, when we get any new update, we'll be sure to let you know. Yeah, never the update you want to hear. Emily, thank you for that. It is 5.03 now this morning. Yeah, so